Don't you hand me another piece of beef jerky. You hear? What do you mean? I mean, the next piece of beef jerky you hand me is going out the window. I don't want to see any more beef jerky. It's driving me crazy. The whole car smells like it. It's good. It's what the pioneers ate. I don't give a damn what the pioneers ate. I don't want to see any more of that shit. You keep it away from me. Now I mean it. I don't want any more wild turkey either. It's burning a hole in my stomach. Okay, okay. I've got some tequila. Do you want some tequila? You do? Yeah. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> right, it's in here somewhere. I'm getting tired. Are you all right? I think I really fucked up. I think I've got us both in a situation that could get us killed. I don't know what's the matter with me. I don't know why we didn't just go straight to the police. You know why you already said. what I say again? Nobody would believe us. We'd still get in trouble. We'd still have our lives ruined. And you know what else? What? That guy was hurting me. And if you hadn't come out when you did, he'd have hurt me a lot worse. And probably nothing would have ever happened to him because everyone did see me dancing with him all night and they would have made it out like I asked for it. And my life would have been ruined a whole lot worse than it is now. At least now I'm having fun. And I'm not sorry that son of a bitch is dead. I'm just sorry that it was you who did it and not me. But if I haven't, I wanna take the moment now to thank you, Louise. Thank you for saving my ass. I said all that. <laughs> no, Louise, you said the first part. I said all the rest. Whatever.